Like, why would it need us? And that's a great reason why we need us because it, like, no matter how calculated a computer is going to be, there's like, there's. It's not human. Yeah, it's it doesn't have the chaos, like you said. So it, it that kind of it's like it makes me. It actually makes me feel good about thinking about that it, that way because I'm like, oh, okay, well, like you can't replicate this. There's a, well, there's what an if, aspect of this you can't we we can't fathom of replicating. I'll say what that. if what if human thought is just fractal in nature and it can be turned into an algorithm and then put in an AI builds it and uses us to build it over however long it takes and eventually it just creates the perfect human AI I don't brain. Know if be, Things like I us. think everybody else's everybody's experience is different. Because depending on what depending on what you are, like how tall you are, like you know what yeah, your what, what your hands are like, what your skin is like, is your skin dry normally? Is your skin not? Is your skin you know kind of greasy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's it's yeah, all but my experience say, is completely different than anyone who's else's. to say that you could not replicate a random experience in AI eventually. Well, that like AI actually, you give you give this AI, it becomes it say it's born on whatever whatever that is, and you you replicate. Maybe on a very fast speed, a human life from birth to adulthood, <laughs> you let this AI, it just learns who it, who it is in a human well, sense, but happens really fast. And then every AI because is Because it would have to like perceive the, 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 the world the way we do. So it would have to, technically, it would have to limit itself because it would have to be like, you have to put two eyes. You don't have eyes in the back of your head. You don't have sensors. You don't have, you can't detect infrared spectrum or anything like that. You're like, you got to put two eyes in your Two really basic front facing well, eyes. Just separate smells. that data. <laughs> separate like, it. But that's like, not the human experience. Yeah. Doing all of that, once you take the human sensation, the, the feeling, our five senses, and the limitations that are, are placed upon us by evolution, it's not the human experience anymore. Yeah, See, but what I if, was, the, I, but what if they're, they're just going to replicate it on a perfect artificial intelligence way, in, a, in a way that, the, the, for, to them, feels just like how it feels? But then for it us. wouldn't. It would feel like it, but it wouldn't be that experience. So do you every single if, every single nerve on your body i mean it's like i've got fucking watch jurassic park it's like when you drop you put the drop you put the water drop on your hand it's going to go different ways yeah, every yeah. time because of the tiny little variations in the hairs and the excitement you of the what, skin you know what? I'm it's going to change every argument. single time <laughs> no 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 it's going to be I'm very difficult for a machine to do that argument. Wait, if you like, you would have to drop the drop of water in a different spot because once you drop one bead of water the water is going to hit the bead and run the same way Right. So it's got to be in a different spot. So I mean, but that would that would that would kind of nullify the entire thing of the experiment if you don't chop in the same spot. It's just, I know. I, th- anyway, I think we're just yeah. back to the case as we just don't know enough. And in, in five hundred years of AI taking over, they just they can replicate the human experience perfectly. Now, so if you guys think one of the things I was thinking of while we were talking about, if you if if we're to like say we think and we find out that the brain is like just, it's just a fractal. Pat, like your brain is a fractal pattern antenna antenna's, fractal antenna <laughs> right yeah. just but the fractals ever so change like mine yours dan's like you know the whatever it, it's just ever so changed to make me think differently to perceive the you know i have this own unique experience because of just the tiniest variation in a very simple equation uh when it turns into the complexity that is my brain it, I see the world a different way than any of you. D- does that kind of make you think that maybe like everything is predetermined then? Like, cause if it's just a mathematical equation, would you say if that's the case, if that's the case, if that's what this is, all, all existence, just simple math, do we, is there, is there free will or is this just a written mathematical script that's going to go on? Like w- I'm kind of interested. We're in programmed. Thinking. If that's, if that's the case, if everything is fractal, does that mean that it's a, it's just a script that's not, I'm not even going to say pre-written that's just already always existed the way it does. Maybe it just is continually written at yeah. every second of every day. Right, but that's my thing like is it is it changed do I have a, do I have a choice really to to live, live going through life or is this is it like the way I live life just part of a pattern that I 
don't even not even aware of it I'm or just, maybe they well, maybe the all your choice oh. all of your choices exist simultaneously because it's a multiverse mm, so every single it. one because if you're going to talk about it's fractal then everything yeah. is well technically that's that well, bran- so I mean, a branching every, structure if you think of it that way because it may not if you looked exactly at my life in two dimensions it would be the same at every but saying that if it's everything exists on simultaneously then it's just like oh. that's the what is it the the uh, eternal inflation theory where it's like every little bubble mm-hmm. that every time you do something expands in another oh. universe that's the case i want to fucking refund on my fractals your fractals suck <laughs> yeah, my you, fractals are bullshit. You, you continually open the wrong door yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just going the wrong way fractals my fractals are fracked yeah i want i want to go back to the fractals where i keep my hair yeah um it's, a, right. it's an interesting it's an interesting thought because like in that theory that theory would tie very similar with the like the fra- like the fractal universe theory because yeah it's like every decision you just you know make infinite amount of branches that just keep you know branching off like a like a tree or a lightning bolt you know any any one of the designs we talked about earlier it would just you know go at the same time exist at all times it's so weird infinitely or Many worlds. singular yeah. <laughs> yeah. or this is, it. this is it this is it this is all there ever has been all there ever will be just once just one time right now and that's it it's so or, weird. that's it i've got nothing else yeah. that's all the theories <laughs> yeah. i don't know how many other ways you can say it all there all is. We're all, all living isn't. on the back of a giant turtle hurling through space. Um, That's more fun, you know. Well, supported by four I, four that pillars. That turtle is a fractal. Four pillars. That turtle is a fractal, yeah, and that turtle on 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 its scales has another fractal, turtle, for sure. and has yeah. another turtle on that shell piece. And then if you zoom in again, and right. so more on. Turtles. And then there's yeah. four. Infinite and then when you get to the four pillars with the elephants uh, supporting the the you zoom in again the planar universe. Um, yeah, and then you Dude. find smaller elephants, pygmy elephants. Oh, yeah, it tiny ones. It, really it small. Like, really small it's, it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm thinking if it fractal, fractals like that, where it, you're like life fractals, it's like, do you ever really die because you're kind of existing at all at all times? You know what I mean? Like, or you can if hope you're, you are. If you're, <laughs> right? right? And so it's like, yeah, really you die, but like my consciousness is still, you know, like in the ether on all or these is it? Fractals. You, don't really, you don't really just like it's not yeah it's never ending i think there was one book that i read where it had the idea that essentially yeah your consciousness hangs around for a while and then um and in some ways in this book that it could be kind of captured it could be it could be um kind of contained for a while until eventually it kind of fades away because once once you lose you, once you lose your physical body you have lost your identity as a human you are everything you know our experiences is limited by our body it is defined by your experience as your biological experience as a human so therefore when your consciousness moves in to this different state uh this bodiless state you can only maintain your actual identity for so long until you kind of dissipate and then you become part of this other gestalt consciousness that they kind of set up for whatever but it's like yeah Uh, but then yeah so it's like yeah you kind of just fade away for a while like you can talk to your you you would be able to communicate with your relatives they set up like a whole thing like a kind of whatever communication uh, set up to be able you could talk to your you know for so long but then eventually you kind of forget who you are because you're not there anymore there. you're just kind yeah. of and then eventually you join the giant you spread out like a puddle well yeah yeah you spread out yeah you become you know diluted in this this mm. consciousness cloud of which they set up and then you just become it's, part of that and then you're just and then yeah and then i don't gone. know i don't know why that i know this dan i don't and don't ask me how but i will tell you the sensation of that is spinning <laughs> I know it for I know that's what it's going to be like. If that's the case where your consciousness exists for a while, as you lose the sense of your body, it's going to feel like you're spinning. And the only time you're ever going to know if I'm right is when you die and you're going to go, "God damn, Braden was God, right." Brain's right. He <laughs> He's <that."> right. <laughs> right? So, it doesn't sound so bad. Finished your life off it's, spinning and And I can tell I can tell you that I know when you die, you start back in the dinosaur times and then you oh, have to evolve. So. You have to evolve I yourself so. to a certain point by consuming tiny little balls that that trigger your evolution <laughs> and then you have to move on from level to level and then you yeah, you start out in the video game. Yeah, you yeah. 
it's a great video game evo people should play that it's a good fun it's a fun one <laughs> that, oh man it's just so it's just a wild one to theorize about love i'm it's super fun maybe maybe one day uh we'll figure it out completely 100 percent. is that in our lifetime i highly doubt it <laughs> the best minds in the world are always debating trying to come up with better versions now now the big bang is being altered like there's a whole bunch like it's never i don't think anything really nothing set in stone so when someone says we absolutely know we absolutely know right now let's say i mean i, I would definitely give them that yeah. if they ever everyone's on consensus that they're like we're all in consensus that this is the way i'm like i believe you but i, I, don't I mean know we have years, we have a couple of just right now we have like a couple of just really accurate models that seem to work on most of the levels like we just had and I, be like, I would say 100 you know, yes like they we were able to predict like you can give us like a you can give us the acceleration and the distance and the speed of whatever a body is and we can apply an equation to it and that we have developed and it's like it's going to be right there and we can point to it. We know the pattern there. We've, we've, we tap, we've tapped into that universal I mean, math. <laughs> we, math. We know math. <laughs> yeah. Math works for like, math. We know how math no works. About it. <laughs> so that's yeah. that. And, and that's what some people would say. Math is the pattern of the universe. That is the language of the yeah. spheres. Like that is how they <sighs> work. That's what they're, that's what dictates their movements and, and where they're going to be. So it's like, we can kind of, so, we're able to do yeah, that, which under- is neat in itself. <laughs> Right, and that's the that's only the complexity of the pattern that we can do is we know where terrestrial ball, we know where shapes are going to be, we know shapes and movement, we know that's where they're going to go. That's all what we figured out. Do amplitudes and stuff. Too. I mean, we know a lot of things. <laughs> we know a lot of stuff. <laughs> we're getting pretty smart. We are pretty we're smart monkeys. Pretty smart. Like we are pretty smart monkeys. I will not. I will not. Uh, uh, do we done? Do some not shit. disparage our monkey brains. Okay, they are pretty complicated and they yeah. are pretty neat. <laughs> We've come a long oh way. They've done some great stuff, okay. and they've some, some, done some terrible stuff. Sure. But none of us, like, you need a group. You need a group. Like, dolphins are assholes, too. Fuck no them. One, like, man, no one, dolphins like, are assholes, no. too. You can say humans have done terrible things. Hmm. No them. one monkey has all the answers. It's true. It's true. Except Harambe, but he whole, died, and we don't, we, we'll never get him back. We killed him. We'll never get him back. We need a, we need a whole That's bunch. That's why he was killed. It's true. He knew he too much. Yep. He was tapped in. Vacation. <laughs> oh, he had all those fucking bananas, which yeah. were fractals. Yeah. He yeah. was thinking on a different plane, man. Hmm. Banana yeah. plane. I was gonna Anyways, did we, we didn't talk about it before, but did anyone come across a theory of the week? Yes. Yeah, it's I on got there. one. Or it was on Bane's there. has got one. That was on there. Oh. Who did you have then? I didn't have I one. I saw one. something I on there. Oh, okay. It's a theory of the week. And it said, <laughs> I thought somebody had put it there. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is... uh. This is a good one. Uh, we got a uh, five star review. Ooh, easy way. To get to your easy review. way. That's the easy, 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 easy peasy. Head to uh, Apple Podcasts, you know, Spotify, giving us a five star. Write a nice little uh, review. We got a couple. This is the one that uh, stuck out to stuck me. Stuck out. Uh, the Wax Wizard from the United Kingdom. Uh, oh. Interesting stories and great sense of humor. Uh, these guys have some. Fire. These guys have some me really interesting stories to tell sure. on these podcasts. <laughs> I'm enjoying listening to these guys while I'm at work. It makes my day go quicker. And also the boring and monotonous job I'm currently doing. Suddenly it is not so boring and monotonous. Ooh, yeah. The guys have really good sense of humor, which gets me laughing along with them on many of the podcasts I've funny. listened to so far. Um, that's from the Wax Wizard. Hey, thanks for that. You know what? We I are objectively way... funny guys. Yeah, I I remember swinging. According hammer. to some, according to I got a, I got a pretty no bad review from a good friend. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about it after hours. Uh, the but like I remember swinging hammer, listen and listen to a lot of podcasts. It got me through the day. So the fact that we're podcast saved my life. Yeah, we're doing that for people. Uh, you know, full circle, Fra- full fractal, full fractal. Right, it's all fractals, baby. <laughs> it's all fractals, baby. I used to listen and enjoy. Now I create for someone else to listen and enjoy. So yeah. Fractification? Frag- fractification? So you're the theorist of the week. Fractification? Fractification? Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, if you're not supporting the show by now, you know where to go. You go to alientheorist.com, hit that support tab, get early access, ad free, all the bonus stuff that we can possibly think you of. You get so much stuff. You get, you get a fractal so amount of stuff. Fractal, it's endless. Endless amount infinite, of things. So if you will. much yeah. stuff. Yeah. Just you just have to slowly wait for the we've drip got confidentials. every week. We've got confidentials on there. We've got after-hour stuff. We've got what else? Like we've got this. Um, 
Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons is on there. That's the big. That's the big seller. If you want to listen to us, just, just, just play just fucking you, Dungeons just, and Dragons. It's hilarious. Just terrible. When you think you're horrible. done listening? There's even smaller <laughs> shows you didn't even know about yeah, yeah. on there. It's oh, like, what's the meaning of this? You've, we've got ATT R and D. There's a whole like R and D like research and development. You got to zoom in. We've got so much to, like <laughs> experimental podcasts that we played around with. And you can go on there and listen to it and be like, hey, in. this is terrible. And you can also go on there and like, hey, I want more of this. And we probably will read that and say, yeah, we should do more of this. And if it's just one person that says they want more of this, we'll probably do it. Because we'll assume probably. that that is a large probably. representative of the larger whole. And then we'll, of course. we'll process it. It's fractal. <laughs> it's fractal. We'll assume your opinion is the opinion of everybody else on our Patreon and we'll do it again probably. Yeah, yeah we, we, make, we make all changes based on everyone's and we change at a moment's notice. I, you, I, I don't think people understand like the amount of it, in, like the input, the effect that uh that pe- the input that people on our patreon have they say we want to do something and we'll see it and we'll say okay yeah sure why not <laughs> yeah we'll keep, we'll do it. let's do it um yeah no. hell yeah this week's new supporters po- posting all his feet pics right yeah. someone asked yeah you want feet pics you got a thing long. for fucking size eight and a half man <laughs> they like it i can't help it yeah that's average this yeah. this week's new supporters we have joseph goodall John Jacoby, Jennifer Newland, Bigsby Starboner goes up in their pledge. <laughs> Christopher, Kevin Kokas, Just Casey, and Dan supports the show once again. And if you're a Spotify user and you only like to use Spotify, you head over to Supercast like these two beauties. Ernesto Gonzalez and Luis Ramirez on Supercast. We appreciate your support fuck yeah and as we always say at the end of these things you gotta tweet that's you that's you that's you you usually say that (laughs) it's like yes on point much appreciated keep those (laughs) eyes on the skies hey guys thanks for watching I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.